The Senate has summoned top management of the Power Holding Company of Nigeria, the National Independent Power Project, NIPP, Julius Berger, PLC, and the Federal Aviation Authority of Nigeria, FAN. They are expected to appear before the Senate Aviation Committee to explain why the Nnamdi, Nnamdi Azikiwe International Airport, Abuja, was thrown into darkness for several hours on the 20th of April, making it difficult for British Airways to land. The airport was in total darkness as four of its power-generating sets packed up. However, sources close to Channel's television said that after the blackout, there was not enough diesel to power the generators. Committee Chairman Senator Hope Uzodima told newsmen after a tour of the facilities of the airport that this is the third time such an incident has occurred at the airport in three months. To come here to see things for ourselves and to know what really happened, the causes and possible ways of uh, 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 correcting and making sure this ugly incident of not repeat itself again. Now we've been told that uh, uh, the dedicated lines, two dedicated lines of the airport by power holding companies, one has been recovered and given to the host communities, uh, which is not a bad idea. But uh, the problem is that they have not been able to replace such uh, arrangements. And all over the world, airports are run on dedicated lines, uh, you know, to avoid interruption. Secondly, the alternate solution, which is uh, generating sets, uh, procured and maintained by Julius Bezier, also broke down, three of them broke down uh, at a time.